And I am so happy to have you all here this evening. This is the Ultra Maximus, and this is the Secret Variant for 8-15-2022 Final Orders Due. Let's get it cracking. So our Streamlab did some uh, updates, and uh, I'm messing it all up over here. But like and subscribe to the video. Don't forget to leave a comment if you're watching on the Rewind. And of course, click that notification bell for notifications when we go live. Like and share the video, like I said, and uh, subscribe. Yeah. Don't also forget uh, that the subscriber giveaway is uh, thanks to you guys breaking the thousand subscriber barrier. And that giveaway is called the Ultra Box. Lots of sick things inside of it. Check out the video that uh, pertains to that one. And watch this channel for more details on how we give that one away. Don't forget to tune in to the next episode of The Raw Report. It's going to be lit. Usually is, because that's my pickups and my mail drops. And then I uh, got a couple other videos on here that uh, I would love if you shared. Second printing homage videos and the hip-hop variant video. Don't forget to subscribe to all of our friends in the feature channel section. And subscribe and watch all their content, of course. And then, of course, follows are always appreciated, whether it be on Facebook, on IG, or on Twitter. I am the Ultra Maximus, and you can find me at the links at the third UM logo on the YouTube channel. But I'll rewind it and tell you it's the U Ultra Maximus on IG and Facebook. And then, of course, you can follow me at Whatnot Ultra Maximus. Twitter, X Ultra Maximus X. And, of course, Friday nights on uh, Drunken Chat in the place to be. Don't forget, of course, the uh, soundtrack you're listening to is provided by our wonderful friends over there at White Bat Audio, whitebataudio.com, Carl Casey at White Bat Audio, Spotify, YouTube, and uh, lots of other places. And then this guy right here, the man, the myth, the legend himself, uh, Mr. Herd S. Eric, one of the contributors to the Melcast on Drunken Chat. And look at that logo. How could you not understand that this man is sick with it? ComicBarricade.com, helping you keep your comic books upright in your boxes. Make sure you do use the code ULTRA to get yourself 10% off your order. Don't forget, Wanna Comics dropping bombs on the regular. So, uh, WannaComics.com needs to be a bookmark on your uh, your browser. And if it's not, you're, you're, you're missing out. Don't forget to follow them on IG, but you can also follow them on Whatnot. And you can follow them on Whatnot by downloading the Whatnot application. Available in the App Store, of course, also on Google Play. And uh, my influencer chat is not active, but uh, you can paypal.me slash ultramaximus if you are feeling frisky and you wish to donate to the network. That's right, because this is the Ultra Maximus Network. And what's up, Nate, 138th? Good to see you here. I know I'm going live a little bit later in the evening than I normally do, so I know uh, I expect some of my viewers to be watching other shows. But that's okay. They will catch the rewind. And if you are catching this one on the rewind, you are in the best place to be as long as it's before FOC. FOC is tomorrow or today, depending on which books you are looking at. And hello, everybody. I am the Ultra Maximus. Welcome to the channel. And welcome to this fun little of extravaganza I do here weekly. I don't know how many weeks straight I haven't been keeping track. I just know that I like to do this for you. I do it for me too, though. And that's what the benefit is, is that I spend hours working on this show to make me a better FOCer, which I never usually do, and then get yelled at by my LCS for not FOCing. So don't be me, be you. Because it's, uh, it's a lot tougher being me than you guys could probably ever realize. I uh, heard some people say that they were jealous of me. <laughs> you you don't want these scars uh but nonetheless i appreciate all the rest of you guys for being here and what is the secret variant well if you've never been here before what i do is i give you the breakdown of everything that is on final orders due either tomorrow for previews today for lunar distribution or next sunday for lunar distribution networks and this helps you the customer, the store, the speculator, the, the reader, whoever, it helps you stay away from what is called the FOMO. And of course, if you are a store and you're watching this, you're probably going to experience uh, some things that you're going to be like, hey, you know, I might need that for the shelf. Or hey, I know a guy who collects this artist and I see that artwork right there. Uh, a lot of that happens. But you know what? Whoever it is, whether you're using the pull box for Lucas, your local comic shop, an online ordering service other than the pull box, uh, you know, or your your Wednesday warrior, just like some of us do. 
Well, there's spoilers afoot because what we're doing is we're looking at books that are coming out in three to five weeks at the earliest. Some of them get delayed, some of them come out even later. But nonetheless, this is why we are here to educate you, the customer, the seller, the retailer, whoever you are, on what is coming out. And that is why I love the fact that you guys share this video with so many retailers. A lot of messages from you guys, uh, and, and I really appreciate the support. First up on our publisher list is going to be a Blaze Publishing, and they're going to give us the Boogeyman number one. And this is cover A. This is cover B, which looks interesting, right? But it gets even weirder at cover C. But wait, we're not done yet. Homage. <coughs> I believe this is uh, a champion's homage. With that said, uh, Boogeyman number one with a cover E, Glow in the Dark, which is weird, right? It's a Glow in the Dark blank? That's kind of kind of wild. Uh, Boogeyman number one with a 10 copy incentive, and this is your version of the cover A, 20 copy Gomez version, and then the Rubin 30 copy, and then the Nieto Glow in the Dark incentive variant, and the 50 copy glow in the dark incentive variant so a 40 copy and a 50 copy glow in the dark as well as a blank sketch lots of glow in the dark and um i remember being a really little kid and mr boogity i think it was like the disney movie i don't know if anybody remembers that one larry joe what's up to you too action lab in the danger zone everybody we got hamlin number four of the six issue miniseries Shoot the kid. What the? It's wild. Meta. Action Lab Entertainment giving us the Ballad of Ronin. Number five or six. Ahoy for next Sunday. So this was uh, slid into the Lunar Distribution Final Order list for next week. And this is, of course... Justice Warriors number four of six with the cover A. And then your one in five incentive variant cover. Now, uh, you guys, uh, you guys get the homage there? Anyway, Aftershock shattering your expectations with last line number one. That's your cover A. And then this is the 10 copy, I'm sorry, the 15 copy incentive. And that's some wild looking stuff going on on the cover. Is, is, is good boy taking over again? What the? The Vineyard, number two. Finishing up for Vault. I'm sorry, for, for Aftershock. Um, American Mythology Productions giving us the Zuro Sacrilege, number one, limited edition, 9.8 CGC cover. But they didn't show it. And I was like, man, I gotta use the blank so early in the run? Alright. Archie. Giving you the Jumbo Comics Digest number 333. Just in time for Halloween. Oh, and since it is just in time for the Halloween uh, season to kick off, here's a Sabrina book for you. So this is uh, the t Sabrina the Teenage Witch Anniversary Spectacular number one. It's only $2.99, but I imagine it's in the uh, tiny format. Artist Writers and Artisans with the Erratic 2 Recharge, they're calling it. So this is the AWA Spider-Man, basically. And then here's the cover one by Mike Diodato. Andre knows what's the deal. Erratic Diodato. So, is it me, or does this count as a Spider-Man number one homage? <laughs> like, is pe like, are people who are collecting the Spider-Man number one homages, are they going to have to chase this book, too? You decide. Leave me a comment below. Live chat. Light it up. Bad Press Kids. Oh, I'm sorry. Bad Kids Press. Bad Kids Press. Frankenrocker and Jailbait Punks number three of four. Black Caravan. Now, this is the stuff I showed you last week for Final Orders due today. 
But you might notice some books might be uh, missing. Stay tuned. Rad Wraith number three. Sergeant Werewolf number one, cover A. The one in ten. The one in twenty. But wait, what happened? What happened, man? Well, fun orders due for Black Caravan six. I'm sorry, 821 2022. We're going to show you that Infernal Pack number one got moved. So did Pentagram of Horror. Oh, I'm sorry, Infernal Pack number one is, is on its first week of FOC. Pentagram of Horror is the one that got moved from last week. Here we go. There's the one in 10 to go along with that one, too. The Marco Fontanilli Unlockable variant. Comics Experience, also known as the CEX, also on Lunar Distribution Network. Final orders were due today for Mother Russia. Winter Special. One shot. And I don't know. Maybe this is my natural voice. Maybe I maybe I Russian bot and been been playing everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Definitely not a Russian bot. Saga of a Doomed Universe, number one of three. Acting was never really my thing, but I think voices always were an easy win for me. But like an easy win, good homage covers. And what have we here, everybody? But it's a good Secret Wars variant. Oh look, it's a good Watchmen variant. And then... Who are the heroes on the side, though? On the sidebar, you know? I mean, who's the, the frame heroes? All fun stuff. And then Saga of a Doom Universe cover E with the Marvel Universe uh, wraparound style. And then the DC Who's Who wraparound variant style. I think these are all good homages, but will they be enough to carry those books? Sparks of Chaos number two. There's the Sparks of Chaos. Wait, wait, wait. That's the cover B. Okay. And there's the cover C. My apologies. Apologies. Devil's Due Press giving us the Trailer Park Boys in the Gutters, number one. There is your cover B. And there is your cover C by Garibaldi. <laughs> Keen Spot, giving Kid Slapshot versus Major Extreme number one, cover A. Cover B. Kid Slapshot versus Major Extreme number one, cover C. Cover D. And cover E. So if you are a hockey kid, shout out to hockey. <laughs> Everybody knows who I'm talking about if you're a drunken chat, drunken shark. Merck Publishing, of course, giving us the final orders due next weekend, 8-21-2022. So make sure you guys get your orders in. John Royal. I swear. People have been talking a lot about him lately. And uh, I want to shout out to the Spec Matrix of past where we highlighted some of his best G.I. Joe covers. And he's got a lot of work. You know, again, he started off doing interiors for uh, Gen 13. And uh, I'm sorry, not Gen 13. Um, uh, Danger Girl. I knew it was a Campbell property, though. You th obviously totally tell. He's got that Campbell style. <coughs> but uh, he only does covers now. Because like many of the great artists, the really, really talented ones, uh, unfortunately, they get wrist pains and stuff like that. And they, they can't keep up with the pace of doing interiors which really sucks it's because it's like you basically gotta draw an entire like year's worth of books in advance <laughs> and like and then like be like okay now i got a story but there's the uh the a cover here's your b cover getting a little bit uh <laughs> uh shout out to comics main he knows the deal he likes tuesdays uh shout out to <laughs> all my other homie crew over there at uh drunk and chat uh, Ms. Meow number four, cover C is your 25 copy incentive, John Royal. And then this is the Shikari Risque variant. The 1 of 100 Risque variant virgin, foil variant. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Oni Press, and this is the stuff that's due today. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> agree, Nate, agree. Jonna and the Impossible Monsters, number 11 with a Chris A. Somni variant. And then uh, the cover B. So here is your six gun Oni 25th anniversary edition foil variant. And that's going to wrap it up for Oni. But you know what? Uh, last week I showed you up more books. If you're doing the side by side, you know that Oni showed a couple more. So they got slid, but it's okay. I'm, I backed them up to this list right here. So this is the Lunar Distribution due next Sunday. Action Journalism number one, cover A. Cover B. And I, I do believe that's an alien. That's some spacesuit stuff going on here on the cover C. And why does this say like some kind of exclusive at the bottom? One in 25. The Action Journalism number two, cover A. Which... From the looks of it, if they're doing, if they're dropping FOC for issue number one and two, number two is probably going to get slid and go show up again. So, Blink number three, cover A. Blink number three, cover B. Rick and Morty Crisis on C-137 number two slid from last week. More basically today. Into the future for next Sunday. And, uh, yeah. There's some wild stuff going on in that cover. It's another uh, another version of the Revengers, it looks like. Yeah. So, uh, if you guys are keeping up, here is Rick and Morty Crisis on C-137 number two. So, if there's another Revengers team, the last one died horribly, remember? Pickle Rick. Opus giving us the Frank Frazetta Death Dealer number 5, cover A. Frank Frazetta Death Dealer number 5, cover B. Frazetta. Five copy incentives going to be a Sea Witch. And then here is the 10 copy incentive. And then your 20 copy incentive is going to be a version of that. Death Dealer number 1 going 4 prints, everybody. I don't know how that happened. Or who they were selling to, or who knows about this book. Because it's it's definitely a Frazetta book that people didn't know about, most likely, until after it came out. Scout Comics. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, Scout Comics, and this is a FOC due, 814, 2022. So I showed some of these to you last week, and like many of the other ones that I've shown you here already, some slid to next week. Oz of the Barbed, number one, and the 10 copy unlockable variant, however, stayed firmly today. Cities of Magic, number five. Code 45, number three. And then West Moon Chronicles, number one. Scout Comics for next Sunday, 8-21-2022. Eternus, number two. Junior, number one. She Bites, number two. Triskel, number four. Finishing it up. Scoot, however, is the, again, Scout uh, imprint. So here is your 821-22 final order due for Sengi and Tembo, second print. So what does this mean? Well, if you're seeing this book on this show for second print and first print, I don't know if it's come out yet. can't remember. Ah, uh, it's been so busy that I haven't prepped for a Wednesday show, as you know. Uh, but the second printing means if you see the first printing uh, for a two ninety nine dollars investment, might not be a bad idea to pick up the first print. Means that uh, second print was warranted or demanded. Sumerian. Blind Alley, number five. 
Here's the cover B. And then the Illusion Witch, number four of six with a cover A. Illusion Witch, number four of six, cover B. Pop Star Assassin, number, I'm sorry, Pop Star Assassin 2, number one. And then here is the Pop Star Assassin 2, number one, cover B. And your cover C. And the cover D. Now, if you guys remember, I believe all of these were previously, you know, the Popstar Assassin 1 was released on Behemoth. But I think they've, uh, Behemoth, Sumerian, kind of a, a name change thing. And then here is the uh, cover E and the cover F. Space Lady, number three, cover A. And here's the Space Lady number three with the stupid, amazing Spider-Man swipe. <laughs> but, you know, the butt cheeks over there uh, looking like uh, the Minara. Uh, shout out to Mighty Mel V on that one. We all remember the easel. Turbo Kid Skeleton Unleashed number one. So, apparently this Turbo Kid stuff is, like, wild. Wild, wild. Here's the cover C, so they didn't show the cover B. Oh, there. I didn't show the cover A. That's wild. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened to the cover A. Here we go now. Here is the Blade Runner Black Lotus number two cover A. The Black Lotus number two cover B by John. Is that John Gallagher? Wow. Shout out to the Uncanny Knack. And then Blade Runner Black Lotus number two cover C concept art. The glass right here. This is one of those perspectives. And they did good here. Uh, here's the Black Lotus number two FOC Danny Strips Virgin variant. Blade Runner. Expanded universe. You know, this is what I love about comics that have expanded universes take place outside of the movies when the movies are either not going to be produced or continued. And it's kind of like, th these are for the people who are really big fans of those properties, which is the reason why I love Transformers. I love Transformers comics. It feels, oh, it did so much more than what the cartoon did. That's for sure. And then, of course... Being that there are two IDW generations, I do suggest the IDW Generation 1 as a read-through from start to finish all the way from uh, Infiltration Zero all the way to Unicron. It's not a bad thing. It really is not. Um, it's got its high points. It's got its low points. But you know what? As a Transformers fan, it's definitely the greatest incarnation because it includes so many of the other variations. Beast Wars, uh, all the, the different cartoons that we know. All the way up to Star Saber and Die Atlas from Zone. So, yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, but anyway, I'm uncivilized, just like these comic books right here. And uh, these orders are actually due for next Sunday. I didn't change the date on that slide. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, but 8-21-2022 will be Gabriel Bell with Career Ship Shoplifter. Number one. Are glass variants like the foil variants? Hmm. I do believe so. But glass is definitely uh, scratchable, breakable, and a little bit more 9.8able. 9.9able, maybe. Or even tenable. <laughs> is it tenable? <laughs> That's a new statement, right? 814 2022. Vault orders due. Lunar Room number four with a cover A and a cover B. Mindset number one, second printing. Mindset number three, cover A. Mindset number three, cover B. And then we've got Quest Aside number five, cover A. Revealer number one, cover A by Tim Seeley. Now we're getting now we're getting somewhere, right? Because look at this. What's going on? It looks like snakes on a plane. That's some tentacle stuff going on there. 
and then, yep, this is, uh, wow. So, movie tie-in with Shudder. Okay. So this is the revealer one shot, and there's the cover B, and then this is your cover C, 15 copy incentive. <laughs> Oy vey. But don't worry, Vault's got you covered, Nate. 8-21-2022, coming at you. Barbaric, Axe to Grind, number one, second printing. That looked like a movie poster, which was kind of cool. Barbaric, Axe to Grind, number two, with a cover A by Nathan Gooden. End after end, number two, with a cover A. And then there's your cover B. And then we got Giga, number five, cover A, but they don't show the cover B. And then this is interesting because Nightfall Comics was supposed to be uh, something else, but this is the nasty from Night. This is the Nightfall imprint from Vault. So the nasty number one, cover B. Oh, there, look, Quest Aside again being pushed from last week to this week. I forgot to delete the last one. Uh, Shadow Service, number 15 with a cover A. That's going to wrap it up for Vault. But we're not even getting warm yet, everybody. We haven't even made it into the Premier Publishers. So smash that like button. Wake to fill your dreams with Ascensia number 14 with a cover A. Ascensia number 14 cover B, pencil art. Zenoscope. Zenoscope actually has a huge FOC week. Bell, Hunt of the Centaurs, number one, cover A. There's your cover B. And then there is the cover C by Thompson. And the cover D by Go. Grim Fairy Tales 64, cover A. Cover B. There's the cover C by Thompson. The cover D by Fiardo. There is Robin Hood Baba Yaga. <laughs> Baba Yaga. Uh, what's that? Uh, Baba Yuga is. Uh, the, what's the the villain that uh, in, in Ant Man, the the Russian dude talks about like the ghost of, of somebody. <laughs> anyway. There is uh, your cover B. This is the cover C by Ivan Tao. The cover D by Villa Lobos. Fire. And then look at this one. Tales of Terror Quarterly, Rise of Cthulhu, cover A. Spokes. Fire. A little bit of the 90s broke back from, you know, Image Comics, but eh, it happens. Uh, Tales of Terror Quarterly, Rise of Cthulhu. Cover B by Vittorino. And then here is the Rise of Cthulhu cover C by Riviera. Cover D by Reyes. And then we've got Van Helsing Flesh of My Blood number one, cover A. Cover B, Vittorino. The cover C by De Pascal. And then the cover D by Rufino, which is neat because Rufino, I hope she gets a lot more work. It's Jeff Scott Campbell's, uh, I think, colorist, everybody. Or Inker, can't remember which. She was doing some, she was doing some, a little bit of both, I think. Boom Studios, Basilisk number 11, cover A. And then here is the cover B by Ryan Sook. That's some serious, serious stuff. And then uh, Sook's also blessing us with a 25 copy incentive with this one. All right. So, Berserker with issue number 10 of the 12 issue series. Also, look, I'm not trying to say they're like similar because that's like blisters and this is like bodies in... <laughs> in the face a little bit different you know what I'm saying but same same cover B 
Kevin Eastman. And then cover C is going to be the foil treatment of that one. And cover D is going to be the foil treatment of that one. So A, B, C, D. Same thing. And then you get new artwork here with the Olivetti. Man, wow. Straight up stabbed, right? Like, that's like, that's like not even stabbed a little bit. That's like stabbed a lot. Uh, then here's your cover F, your 50 copy Eastman incentive, your 75 copy incentive, and then your 100 copy Eastman black and white. Tomb in the house! Tomb doing big things. Hella stabbed. <laughs> you know, um, I moved to Florida from Seattle. So doing that, I did say hella when I moved here. And people like, I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I adapted it in the, in the couple of years that I lived out on the West Coast. I, I can't unsay it until I don't just say it anymore. And it, it took a while, but I was, hella used to be kind of like, know insert random curse word just trying to get stuff out right grim number two with the third printing and he <laughs> look, look what's going on in that cover magic the gathering number 18 with the mccardo variant on the a, i'm sorry mccardo on the a cover but the cover b secret planeswalker variant the 10 copy Yoon incentive. That's it. They didn't give Ricardo an incentive. Like, I was bugged out by that. Um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord Pack Bundle. Number one. Once in Future 29. Cover A. This is, of course, your Mora connecting variant. And then here's your 10 copy incentive Mora Black and White. And then this is the Robles 25 copy incentive variant cover. Something is Killing the Kids, number 25, second printing Del Adera variant. Stuff of Nightmares, number one, cover A by Frank Avia. So, what would trip a second printing on a Something is Killing the Children, number 25, other than low print, good story, and maybe something going on inside the book? Or just what is not satisfying? Leave me a comment on that one. Stuff of Nightmares number one, cover B. Stuff of Nightmares number one, cover C. And this is the glow variant. Is this another glow in the dark cover on our list this week? Ah, nice one, Tomb. Nice one. Stuff of Nightwares number one, cover D with a glow variant. What? Okay. Cover E blank sketch variant, but at least their blank sketch doesn't glow. Stuff of Nightmares number one with a cover F by Mercado. And then the 25 copy incentive by Graham. 50 copy incentive by Jenny Frizen. And then here's the Stuff of Nightmares number one, walk 100 copy incentive. The 150 copy incentive is a signed by R.L. Stein variant. So this is uh, hopefully going to be just like the the other ones where you're going to be able to... I think this is what uh, Anthony was talking about on Drunk Chat, where you're going to be able to get the certificate and take that and like within 30 days ship it to CGC. And they'll, they'll yellow label it. Here's your cover K with your FOC reveal variant. The unlockable Francovia. The Stuff of Nightmares number one cover MBG variant. I don't know what these BG variants are, but this is not the last one and probably. I don't know, probably won't be. It's definitely not the first one either. Uh, Dark Horse Avatar Adapt or Die. Number five of six. Cyberpunk 2077 Blackout, number 404 with the cover A. Here is the cover B. Fear more. Mind Management Bootleg, number 304. Now, this next cover, this next cover should totally be a red kryptonite cover. And that is, of course, a bootleg Jean Grey. 
<laughs> no, I mean, look at it. It's just Jean Grey with, with blue instead of green. He works for me. I don't know about the rest of you guys. <laughs> Shout out to Mrs. Maximus. Love you. Mun Management Bootleg number three. Cover C. Shock Shop number one of four. Cover A. Here's the cover B by Frank Avia and Moon. Survival Street number two. Cover A. They gave you a little bit more time. The Survival Street was wild, y'all. Like, if you didn't read that in the last couple of weeks, man. Well, here's uh, issue number two, cover A. And then here is your cover B. Now, as messed up as it is, you know, this book's premise, like how corporations can just, like, take over and get themselves elected into, into you know, congressional seats and stuff like that. Welcome to 1984, everyone. Ward, number four of four. No covers. Dynamite Entertainment. Here's 007 with uh, number two, cover A by Edwards. The cover B by Aspinall. Cover C by Lee. Cover D by Wooten. The cover E is your 10 copy incentive, Edwards Black and White. The cover F, Wooten Virgin. The 20 copy cover G, incentive by Lee. Cover H is your 25 copy Aspinall Virgin. Cover I is your Edwards Limited Virgin. Cover J is your Finnegan Original. Cover K is your seven copy FOC incentive Lee Black and White. L is your seven copy FOC incentive Wooten Black and White. Your Aspinall Black and White cover M7 copy FOC. Your 10 copy FOC incentive Finnegan Virgin was not shown and I don't know how this one slid in there but it shouldn't be oh yeah that's right they didn't even show the cover A for Invincible Red Sonia number 10 cover B however shown by Lindsner cover C by Selena you know the only thing is is like all of her all of Selena's look like Fomka Jensen Frank Cho however <laughs> continues to look like Frank Cho's which one of you peasants called me Carrot Top? Cover E, Cosplay. And man, did she just pull the, the... Did she open the box in seven? And Cohen's Trade Tress. <laughs> Between Selena and Cohen, there shouldn't be any other artist doing covers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, oh my God. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, oh, uh, cover G didn't show it, but it's a Connor black and white. Here is your 20 copy cosplay incentive. This is your Lindsner black and white. Here is your Cohen virgin. Yeah. You know, like I said, um, why, why is anybody Cohen and Selena doing art <laughs> on these things? Like, please. Lindsner, you know, no, not knocking you, my man. You, you, you Cry for Dawn style right here. It looks more like Cry for Dawn than it does in Red Sonia. But that's just me. But yeah, Selena and Cohen. Absolutely just murking it right now. Over here at Dynamite. And here's your cover and FOC placeholder for the Moritat original art. Cohen's getting an ultraviolet variant, which should look interesting. Uh, seven copy FOC incentive, Moritat Virgin. Cho getting a seven copy FOC Virgin. The seven copy FOC incentive, Cohen Black and White. Ten copy FOC incentive, Selena Black and White. And then there's a ten copy FOC incentive, Cohen Ultraviolet. Now, this is what they had in the placeholder for that. So, I don't know. Be worried. They might switch out some artwork here on us and pull uh, Nubia without sneakers, if you know what I mean. <coughs> All right. 
Anyway, uh, Lee 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 delivering the cover A for Ninjets number one of a five issue miniseries. Cover B by Lau. Cover C by Acosta. Cover D by Perez. Blank for cover E. I'm sorry, cover C. D is Perez. Cover E is a blank. Cover F is your 10 copy incentive Acosta black and white. 20 copy Lau black and white. 25 copy Lee Re Lee black and white. 30 copy Perez Virgin. 40 copy Acosta Virgin. 50 copy Lau Virgin. But they said, you know what? You get the metal Virgin for Lee Re. You get a Atlas signed edition. And then there's a Leary Lee limited virgin variant for $49.99. <laughs> oh, yep, 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 yep. Ultraviolet, of course, is you're going to be your cover O FOC variant. And then there's going to be an FOC Blood Red Blank Authentics. A cover Q FOC Death Black Blank Authentics. A cover R seven copy FOC incentive Leary Ultraviolet variant. Oh, that's a virgin. Perez black and white seven copy cover S FOC incentive. Lau black and white cover T seven copy FOC incentive. And that one's a virgin. Cover U is going to be a seven copy FOC incentive. Acosta black and white virgin. Cover V is going to be a 10 copy FOC incentive. Leary black and white virgin. Wrapping it up for dynamite. Right? IDW Entertainment crashing number one cover A. Here's the cover B by Corona. And this one's an IDW original. Crashing number one cover C by Kangas. No incentives. Really, really strange, right? G.I. Joe Real American Hero number 298 with a cover A by Gallant. Man, they only got 299 and 300 to go after this. So they're are they actually going to make it? Spine takes in the house. So uh, I, I know uh, Sith Lord Lee from Spine Takes is a bit of a GI Joe fan. At least uh, I, I, I kind of recall that. So John Royale here on the ten copy incentive, and that's obviously the return of Snake Eyes. So he said, "Hell yeah, Yo Joe." So we're we're wrapping up Larry Hama's story at 300. Going to see where it takes us, huh? I'm going to ride this G.I. Joe thing out. See where it takes me. Transformers Best of Starscream one-shot. And as you guys probably know, there's going to be a mixture of these uh, reprinted stories in some of these. The Rarities, however, has some previously unprinted stuff. The Rarities is also the one that has Soundwave transformed into the uh, cassette. He's in the cassette deck f- format. So for, for my Transformers fans, of course, and of course my Biggie Art fans, there you go. Usagi Ojimbo, number 31, with a cover A by Stan Sakai, but why is there two Usagis on the cover? Something's going on. That's not two Usagis, just two rabbits, I'm sorry. I should not assume all rabbits are Usagi. Usagi Ojimbo, 31, with a 10 copy Peach Momoko variant. But you know what they did? You see that up in the top right hand corner? Or I'm sorry, top left hand corner? R I A and R I B. So, uh, yeah, 25 copy incentive Momoko. So they're trying to boost sales. I wonder why something happens in the room. Maybe. Could be wrong. This is speculation. And then we're in a town called Terror number six with a cover A, the cover B, and no variants. No incentives, at least. Antioch. Number one. This is the cover B for it. No no incentives. Dead Lucky number two, cover A. However, there's this 20 copy incentive to go along with it. Eight billion genies, number one cover. Third print. 
We also get 8 billion GDs, number two, third print. So this is this is wild, right? So issue number two, third print, and issue number three, third print. Very similar, right? But this is wild, like, uh, yeah. Oh wait, here's issue number four, second printing. Golden Rage number two, cover A. Here's the cover B by Samson. I actually like this. The queen, she's got a bat. Ready for war. Metal Society number five of five. If Magnus Robot Fighter was a woman. Basically is the story here. Uh, cover B, not so bad. Mirka and Dolfo finishing up the uh, Americanized version of Sweet Paprika. This story, again, was originally printed in Italy in Italian. And here is the cover A. Cover B. The cover C. The cover D. And the cover E. Cover F is the blank cover. And wrapping up that series again. Let me know if you're reading it. Prodigy Icarus Society number three, cover A. There's the cover B, which is just black and white. Spawn three, three, three. Cover A by Matina. Cover B by Barbarian. Spotlight Spawn. Starhenge number three of Dragon and Boar. Here's the cover B. That Texas Blood number 17 cover A. That uh, Texas Blood number 17 cover B. Time Before Time cover A for issue 16. Here is the cover B. And then we've got Twig number 5 of 5 cover A. Here's the cover B. The Peach Momoko cover C, very, I'm sorry, but that's a very disturbing looking, right? Oh, there is your 10 copy Stram and Virgin incentive. You know, Brett Hess, that's something that Todd McFarlane always said. Uh, he, he, he's wanted to always keep it low. Peach Momoko and his 25 copy incentive here for Twig. And then the 50 copy incentive by Scotty Young. The 100 copy black and white by Scotty Young. And I think there's something going on because, of course, it's halfway to 666. That's another reason why that spawn, I think, might have something going on inside of it. And Todd's been... You know, I know Todd actually, like, shares his, his books. Like, he's, like, coming out. He can tell you when it's coming out and show the covers on his like IG or his Facebook and stuff, so who knows? Walking Dead Deluxe number 46 with a cover A by Finch and McKay, can you believe? They're basically, what, almost 25% uh, way done? Walking Dead Deluxe number 46 cover B, Charlie Adler. Here is the cover D by Tedesco. And then here's the cover. Wait, how'd that get backwards? Here's the cover C by Riviera. DC, final orders due. Batman, 127. So, this is all the stuff I showed you guys last week. I uh, rummaged through the list, I didn't see anything added, which is interesting, right? Now, Gabriel Delato did not do an incentive on this book, but Batman 127's cover B, Wraparound, Fire. It's, a, it's good Delato art. That's, that's going to be a good slab book. Cover C is the Alex Garner cardstock variant. Cover D is going to be the Segovia Harley Quinn 30th anniversary variant. And Yuck Lee giving you the 25 copy incentive. Cover F, 
is a 50 copy jock foil variant that turned from silver to gold. Batman Beyond Neo Year number 6 of 6 with a cover A by Max Dunbar. Sorry, I went backwards. Batman Beyond Neo Year number 6 of 6 with a cover B by Christian Ward. And then the cover C is the Max Dunbar design variant. Batman Night Watch number one of five. Batman Urban Legends 19, cover A. And then one of Lucas's favorite. Shout out to Chitlin's Green Cornbread. Batman Urban Legends 19, cover B, Chris Burnham. The cover C, the Claire Rowe variant. And then here we've got uh, Deadpool filling in for the Justice Society, posing as the Adam Smasher. And there's proof. <laughs> That's the photo cardstock variant. Cover is by Kari Andrews, and it's amazing. Because he, like, totally swiped the, the design and nailed it. Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, number four of seven. Cover A. The cover B by the Dodsons. Cover C by Brett Booth and Jonathan Gal Glapion. The Zero Hour Homage. And then here is the Cover D 25 copy incentive. Cover E, Zerdy cardstock variant cover showing Thor's Black Winter invading the DC Universe. Cover F is the 100 copy Daniel Samper foil variant. Here's the cover G, late ad, Victor Bogdanovic, cardstock variant. Artistically, this rules. Dark Knights of Steel, Tales of the Three Kingdoms, number one. There's the cover B. Here's the cover C, 25 copy incentive. This is your 50 copy incentive. Deceased War of the Undead Gods, number two of eight, cover A. And uh, you probably noticed that there's DC versus vampires that uh, yeah, went away. It uh, did not stay on FOC. I do not know why. But the War of the Undead Gods has a dirty word in the title. Who said it? Who said it? Someone say acetate? I could have sworn someone said acetate. So here is your acetate uh, cardstock variant cover. This is your cover B. Here is your cover C, Dan Mora X-Men Homage. Here is the cover D, 25 copy incentive, Francesco Mattina. Vampire? Undead Lobo? Like what is going on there? And then here is your cover E, 50 copy incentive. 1062 second print for Detective Comics. But they know what? They knew that you like the foil treatment too. So that's a Tedesco cover. And Tedesco, yeah, he's uh, top tier for sure. Flashpoint Beyond number five, cover A. And then here is the Martha Wayne Joker. Captain Cold on the 25 copy incentive. Flashpoint Beyond, number five, 50 copy incentive. And it says, History of the DC Timeline. He's not wrong. Harley Quinn, 30th anniversary special number one, cover A. Harley Quinn, 30th anniversary special number one, cover B, Jeff Scott Campbell variant. The Lau Art Germ variant. Jerome Pena. I mean, that's that's honestly one of the better Suicide squad, squad variants ever. Look at that. Jerome Pena doing Killer Croc. 
Here is the Bruce Tim variant. The Dodsons. And then here is the Lee Bermeo. This one's pretty sick too. Stefan Sejic variant. Adam Hughes. Now, they decided to uh, give you a 25 copy incentive by Amanda Connor. The 50 copy incentive by Stanley Art Derm Lau. And then Adam Hughes. 100 copy foil incentive. So, good luck, everybody. Harley Quinn 30th anniversary special number one, one shot with a cover M by Frank Cho. And then here is, and yet another glow in the dark cover. Multiversity Teen Justice number four, cover A by Robbie Rodriguez. Cover B by Stephanie Hans. Here is the Multiversity cover C, Vanessa Del Rey, Hispanic Heritage Month. And then we're on the new champion of Shazam number two, cover A. Here is your cover B by Dan Hip. And then this is the 25 copy incentive by Marguerite Sauvage. Nubia, Queen of the Amazons, number four, cover A. Queen of the Amazons, number four, cover B by Joel Jones. Poison Ivy, number four, cover A, Jessica Fong. The Jenny Frizen cardstock variant. The Sozo Mica cardstock variant. And then here is the Amy Reader Harley Quinn 30th anniversary variant cover. And then the 25 copy incentive. Sword of Azrael number two, cover A. Cover B by Joshua Middleton. Cover C, Mateus Manhanini. And then the cover D, 50 copy Melnikov. Sick. Don't worry. DC's got stuff for you next week, too. So take a look with me. And we'll make sure you don't catch the FOMO on any of these, right? So Batgirl number 10, cover A. Batman number 10, cover B by Sweeney Boo in the cardstock variant. Oh, Queen Key, we, we just in the DC for next week's FOC right now. So if you have to watch on the rewind, I appreciate you coming by. Thanks for stopping by, for real. Sweeney Boo on the cardstock variant for Batgirls, like I said. And then here is the cover C, the Erica Henderson Harley Quinn 30th anniversary cardstock variant cover. Batgirls number 10, cover D, 25 copy Rion Gonzalez cardstock incentive. Batman, one bad day. So apparently all these one bad days are going to be all the scenarios where all the Bat villains kill Batman. Well, Batman, one bad day. Cover A is this one right here. Cover B is a Jim Lee variant, which is wild looking. Because apparently, there's Batgirl taking revenge against Two-Face for the death of Batman. So here is Batman, one bad day, Two-Face, the art germ variant. But this is, this is art germ on another level. Like I know, I, I, I do claim that art germ draws a lot of the girls the same. But it's okay. Christian Ward on the 50 copy incentive. And here is the Brian Boland 100 copy incentive. Right Batman versus Robin, number one, cover A. So this is going to be interesting. So Damien's going to fight Bruce? Damien's going to fight Bruce? Come on, man. You know Bruce got a contingency plan for even his own son? Ah. Oh. So Middleton on the cardstock variant cover, however, might give a little bit of uh, magic to this book. I'm sorry. Why is this Zatanna cover here? You know? All right. Batman versus Robin number one cover C by Alexander Lozano. And then here is the cover D. Jason Fabic 
cardstock band. Batman vs. Robin cover E, the Steve Beach cardstock variant. Cover G, and this is the Team Dave Raposa cardstock variant. So you have to order 250 copies of this minimum to be able to get them. Here's the cover H, 25 copy Lucio Perillo cardstock variant. And the cover I, 50 copy Brian Hitch. Dark Crisis World Without a Justice League Wonder Woman number one, one shot. Whew, that was a lot. Cover A. And then here is the cover B, Incentive, 25 copy variant. Flash, The Fastest Man Alive, number one, cover A, cover B, and your 25 copy Jorge Corona cardstock variant cover, showing what looks like the Miller style Flash. What's up, Awesome Sauce Radio? You didn't miss much, buddy. Future State Gotham, number 17, cover A, Simone DeMeo. Batman versus Batman, so that's interesting, right? And then there's a third Batman in the back. Future State Gotham number 17, cover B. Now, I, I love, let's be honest, this is a sick Jason Todd cover. And then uh, I am Batman number 13 with a cover A. Here is the cover B, my quote and cardstock variant cover. I assume by next week it will have some cover, some color to it. Let us know what, on Instagram where you're going on. I want to, oh, I, I love you for that, Queen Key. Um, I am pedal to the metal, though. Uh, I'm almost out of gas myself, personally, from dad life and husband life. But, uh, you know, we'll see what we can do to streamline some things around here, huh? I am Batman number 13, cover C. George's Gianity Hispanic Heritage Month. Honestly, I only gave 15 minutes for notice. <laughs> I set, I set the, I set the notification to go live as soon as I could. You know, uh, cover C with your Hispanic Heritage cardstock variant, 25 copy incentive by Roger Cruz. Cover A, Daniel Warren Johnson of Mel V's favorite comic, Bet. Jurassic League number five. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Mel. You know I know you don't like dinosaur books, man. Especially Jurassic Park and Justice League matchups. Uh, Jurassic League number five, cover B. Jurassic League number five, cover C by Dan Mora. Hispanic Heritage Month cardstock variant cover. Superman, Son of Kal-El, number 15, cover A. Superman, Sal -El, uh, Superman, Son of Kal-El, number 15, cover B. And then the Pamela Hoogboom cardstock variant cover. I hope I didn't mess up your name. But look, for everybody who's going to see in the Super Pets, I, 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 what's going on here? Is, is there a Super Cat? This is a Super Cat and Super Dog getting along. Wonder Woman, number 791, with a cover A by Yannick Paquette. And then here is the cover C, Galea Mark, Harley Quinn, 30th anniversary cardstock variant. And why didn't he get a variant cover for her 30th anniversary? He did the Gotham City Sirens. I think out of all the Harley Quinn artists, I think Galea Mark is probably numero uno. Just throwing that out there. And obviously Wonder Woman's going to get a cover B. Was that sure? Oh, man. Oh, shots fired from Big Remo. Our final publisher of the evening, and this is where I'm going to ask you to also not forget to smash that like button on the way out the door. Amazing Spider-Man number six with a second printing Bagley variant cover. And then uh, Wolverine on this cover of Amazing Spider-Man number nine, apparently fighting Moira McTaggart, wearing Mary Jane, Wolverine's healing factor gave him Mary Jane's lips. And then here it is. So, Morva McTaggart versus Spider-Man and Wolverine. And Wolverine's trying to kill Mary Jane because she's wearing... She's uh, being... She's wearing Morva McTaggart, apparently. 
Or more wearing Tigers wearing her, I think is the term. Um, shout out to Scott Blair Art. He'd appreciate that foot. And uh, speaking of, you know, accurately drawn feet, Amazing Spider-Man number nine with the Romero variant cover. Amazing Spider-Man number nine with the Savic variant. And there was no other incentives, which is weird, right? Avengers X-Men Eternals Judgment Day, or also known as Axe Judgment Day, number one of six. Second printing Brooks variant. Here is the... Oh. Yep, wasn't going to hide that one. That's how tired I am. I'm really, I'm exhausted. I got a big day tomorrow, too. Uh, Axe Judgment Day, number four of six. Uh, here's the Momoko variant. Here is the Vachiko variant. And then here is the Witterman of Axe variant. The Zulo Cat variant. And then here's your 50 copy LaRocca. And the 100 copy Brooks version. Captain Marvel number 41 with the Three Eyed Dragon. Captain Marvel number 41 with the Johnson Beyond Amazing Spider Man variant. Daredevil number three. Number three, Sakara promo variant. Daredevil number three with the Maliv variant cover. 25 copy incentive. Demon Wars Iron Samurai number one of four second printing Momoko. And then we've got Edge of the Spider-Verse number one of five second printing of the new volume. And then we've got Iron Man number 23. Okay, so this is, of course, where things get confusing because... It's Steve Rogers in the black suit. Iron Man number 23, the Manipole Beyond Amazing Spider-Man variant. Midnight Suns number one of five. Midnight Suns number one with the game variant cover. So this is not even an incentive. This is open order. The Vincentini variant. And then here is your Kevin Eastman 25 copy Wolverine and Kashala variant cover. I know, Nate, doesn't it? It looks like Doom. But if you guys read the last issue with that cool-looking uh, Lozano variant, the stealth suit has Steve Rogers in it. Moon Knight number 14, second printing, Cappuccino variant. Ms. Marvel and Venom number one. Ms. Marvel and Venom number one, Momoko variant. And then the Ms. Marvel and Venom number one, the Simonson variant. And yes, that is Walt Simonson. Predator. Sorry. Predator number two. Number two, Bustos variant. And then the 25 copy incentive variant. Savage Avengers number five. And then here we've got, um, yeah, Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings, number one, second printing. As the correction of the Ten Rings, which, if the Ten Rings are here, what are the Ten Rings doing on Steve Rogers and Iron Man? Who's editing? Spider-Punk, number five of five. Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 27. Bounty Hunters number 27, the Lashley variant. And then the Sprouse Choose Your Destiny variant cover. Star Wars Mandalorian number three. Star Wars Mandalorian number three with the concept art variant. Star Wars Mandalorian number three with the Genti variant. And then the 50 copy incentive Stegna variant. Obi-Wan Kenobi number five. Obi-Wan Kenobi number five with Lemuel U variant. Obi-Wan Kenobi Sprouse Choose Your Destiny variant. 
And then we've got Venom number 10 with uh, multiple Venoms on the cover. And then what do we have here? But it is revealed that Eddie Brock's inside of Bedlam. That's weird. Huh. Yeah, Dre. It's always been that way, my man. It's always been that way. Like this here, X-Men 92 House of X Chapter 2, number 5 of 5, has no variant covers. And wouldn't it be some stuff if they adapted the House of X to the live screen via Jubilee taking the place of more of McTaggart's powers? X-Men Red number 6. X-Men Red number 6, Clark Erico variant. If you aren't paying attention to these Tar and Clark variant covers, my God, what are you doing? X-Men Red number 6 with a David Nakayama Beyond Amazing Spider-Man variant. That's pretty cool. But you know what? Nothing cooler than a fresh set of books on your FOC list for tomorrow. Make sure you guys contact your stores and get your orders in. And I will say, I want to say thank you for keeping the secret variant as the number one source for FOC information on all of the interwebs. Lots of people do FOC, but nobody does FOC like me. And that's the reason why you guys are subscribed to my channel. If you are not subscribed to this channel, you're missing out. Don't forget to subscribe to click the notification bell for the next episode of content that I drop. Hint, hint, fair warning. The next content I may drop may not have any announcements. Thanks for watching, everybody. It says see you next week. What, uh, what if I see you sooner? What if I see you in a couple of days? Maybe uh, middle of the week? 